offer after all, you know? Mm -hmm. So just finding the very like um, loving relationship ways of communicating. Okay, well, that's a great idea. This is more what we're looking for. How does that apply here? Or how can we work together with that? And then uh, another big piece of that, um, sharing work culture expectations. Uh, for example, the method of communication and the pace of response that's expected. And also the free, having frequent check-ins um, with the youth when they're working on the project so that, you know, you're not just like, here, put this on your lap. And then we check in like a month later when the project is due and be like, so what'd you do? You know, like rather if you have like consistent check-ins, you can like even help them with molding the project along the way. And the work culture expectation, it's, it's a big piece because youth are coming into your organization and they may not be used to, for example, make sure you check your email five times a day or, you know, like, like there are a lot of like different cultures that are coming together here. So laying things out from the get go really helps uh, create a good relationship mm -hmm. among all staff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and one of the examples I can give is I was working for an organization which I had to do a lot of event planning with and I've never done event planning before. Um, mm -hmm. And in this case, they gave me everything that I needed, all of the tools, um, all of the contact information and what these contacts would help me do. Um, the budget for the event, mm -hmm. uh, what was the vibe that they wanted in this, in, like the atmosphere and the aura of the event, mm -hmm. what type of artistry that did they, did they want at the event, and what was the end goal mm -hmm. of this event. Mm -hmm. And that just created a really great parameter for me to work in and for me to go wild and creative within. Um, but I knew the distinction between what was just a deliverable that I just had 